to be here with the mayor and the aldermen and these city representatives and some of our people. What an opportunity it is. And Lord, I pray you'll smile down upon us tonight with grace and mercy. And Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for forgiveness. I thank you, Lord, that you forgive us of our transgressions and our sins. And I thank you for the blood that was shed at Calvary for every one of us. I pray right now, Lord, for the mayor, and the alderman, and the alder lady, that you will tonight and every day going forward give them a wisdom, Lord, and skill and patience in the direction of this city, and let it be guided, Lord, according to your plan and according to your will, and let tonight's meeting and all the meetings thereafter, Lord, let it be done in the wisdom and the peace and patience Lord and I thank you for all these things I pray these things in the name above every name and that is the name of Jesus Christ Amen I
chat with each other, just I ask that you go outside and chat with each other. Okay? Getting into committees, safety committee. Um, we haven't met uh, due to the new start date. We'll meet on the 11 14. Okay. Just welcome that parallel. Chief of Police. Okay, finance. Um, finance, we did meet in October as well. Uh, we waited until the new date for 11 14. Street Department. Our yes. Next, go ahead, Joe. No, you go ahead. Sorry about that. Our next meeting will be November 10th at 5 30 at the Street Department. <coughs> Water and sewer. Yeah. Our uh, next meeting will be this Thursday at our, at our department. At 3 o'clock? Yes, ma'am. Just again, yeah, I just want to tell tell everybody over there just thank you for holding the road and just your your attitude thank you so much thank you mate. Uh, recreation they had the um the cornhole locator the 5k in conjunction with common john this past saturday and it was a success they had 20 folks run and then 12 people participate in the cornhole tournament they're accepting entries for the christmas parade currently through the 16th and Trees of Christmas is coming up, so folks don't forget about that. And the next recreation meeting is Thursday, November 10th, ending. Victoria? Tourism? Um, tourism met, say, when was that? That was last Monday. Last Monday. And, and I'm not sure. I haven't seen minutes. Uh, I didn't have a chance to make it. So we'll be again on 11 14. I think that uh, we're all in the line there. Thank you. <coughs> Planning and zoning. Our next single meeting is November 21st at 5 30. The agenda will be posted in the next week's edition of the paper. Thank you. Information systems. Uh, yes, ma'am. We had discussed at our previous meeting about our sound system here in the boardroom, and Kenny had got us, a, we had requested bids, and we had received one back to redo our sound system here. And this is completely redoing all of our microphones, all of our system, new speakers in the ceilings, and it's just completely redoing our system. Kenny, you have that, you've got that, what's the price on that? $20,156.97. Uh, and I want to I wanna ask you if we do this under new business or what for us to approve this because there's been, a, you know, our, our audience out here cannot hear us speak or you can't hear them. You have to go to And I think that's something that we really need to move on. The county, county uh, is looking to, to have a system that they can live stream. Were you going to look into a price on that as well when you take it? We need to look on into they, that as well. They decided in my committee that you were in that uh, they were going to let the county. Joey. We did discuss that, and, and, and Joey had brought up that the uh, county was moving towards that, but they haven't moved yet. So the, the, from the county side, yes, we've approved some money. They're going to buy uh, the cameras and everything. As far as the streaming goes, uh, Alderman French had actually sent me something pretty interesting that uh, there's people that host that for very little money. Um, but yes, the county is in the process of doing all the meeting rooms and the big uh, uh, commission. So, so can, if we move to to do this, this just for so my. And this can we works. add that to the system to the system later on? Yeah, that's a separate thing. This is just replacing your okay. microphones, the speakers okay. that you see here, and that audio equipment that's sitting right there beside Attorney Johnson. You know that this really just making your sound. Bob told us that he's been here ever since he's been here in 1974. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so you know. As far as the package for live stream, they voted in my committee that 
we were going to wait and see how it worked out with the county, and then they would move toward that. So if we do this, it won't be like we we bought one system and no, it's microphones and speakers and, and stuff. Okay, historic zoning. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, our next meeting will be uh, the third this Thursday, and uh, on uh, Saturday the 12th, we're having a membership drive. You know what that? I do not know anything about a membership drive. We will be meeting Thursday, though. Okay. I think we're having a membership drive on the 12th. 1 p.m. people come and look at the stuff in the courthouse, the mu little museum thing, and hopefully see uh, some people. Okay. That, that may be through the county. I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware yeah. of that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great to have somebody else to do. We'll be here Thursday. Okay. Five o'clock. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, we'll get into, um, I hope I didn't leave anybody out. Okay, we'll get into uh, resolutions. A re <coughs> excuse me. A resolution approving a contract with Dukes in the amount of $108,333 for the installation of sewer flow monitoring services sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Sure. Is there a second? Sure. Any discussion on this? Hey, I, can, I can tell you what we're doing now is kind of like putting your ear to the ground and hoping that you hear what you need to hear and we're guessing. This this does the entire sewer system doesn't care. This takes up all the guesswork. We will flow monitor we'll know where the I and I is coming in. Yes, sir. That'll be, uh, uh, I don't remember the exact number. Uh, they'll be in, installing flow monitors all over town. And uh, the data collected from that will give us um, information on what areas have got to be uh, looked at first and, and uh, kind of prioritize uh, our, our rehab uh, operations. Any more questions or comments about this? I do know that, am I right, Scott, that TDAC is doing these numbers of flow monitoring from from our, from our system, which we haven't had a good flow monitoring in the past. That's correct. The numbers. And this will help us address upcoming permit issues and violation issues related to the chronic panels. Thank you. There's no more discussion. Call roll, please. Arvin French? Aye. Arvin Anderson? Aye. Arvin Bellamy? Aye. Arvin Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Carsten? Aye. A resolution amending the fiscal development plan of the City of Manchester applicable to property on Interstate Drive, owned by Josh Moore, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Your second. Second. <clears throat> it's been moved and seconded. Uh, this is there any discussion? And this will be a public hearing on this. Um, any any discussion from the public before we have the board to comment? Any comments from the board? See a resolution amending the fiscal development plan of the city of Manchester applicable to property on Madison Street, owned by Josh Moore, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Take your motion. Sure. Take your second. Second. Is there a second? Second. It has been moved and seconded. Uh, this will be a 
It is as, as presented. This will be a public hearing. Uh, any comments from the public before we have the board do it? Any comments from the board? If not, call the roll, please. Ottoman French? Aye. Ottoman Anderson? No. Ottoman Bellamy? Aye. Uh, Ottoman Hobbs? Aye. Uh, Osman Messi? Aye. Uh, Ottoman Parsley? Aye. Uh, D, a resolution amending the fiscal development plan of the City of Manchester applicable to property at 815 Mill Street, owned by Josh Moore, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messi. Here, here, motion. <coughs> So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. It has been moved and seconded. The motion is, is presented. This will be a public hearing. Any comments from the public? Any comments from the board? Alderman <coughs> French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? Uh -huh. Alderman Hobbs? Uh, Mayor Messick, uh, Alderman Parsley. Uh, Moving into ordinance. Ordinance is A, a second reading of an ordinance rezoning property owned by Josh Moore on Interstate Drive containing 8 and 49 hundredths acres from C2 to R4, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Sure, Here's second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any, this is a public hearing. Any comments from the public? Any comments from the board? This is that small strip that allows him to access to his uh, rental property on the back, back side. Mm -hmm. Any comments from the board? The public, call the roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. B. Second reading of an ordinance rezoning property owned by Josh Moore on Madison Street from R3 to R4. Sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Sure move. Second. Second. It has been moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. Any, this is a public hearing. Any comments from the public? Any comments from the board? If not, call the roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Uh, Alderman Hobbs? Uh, Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Uh, Alderman Parsley? Aye. Uh. C. Second reading of an ordinance rezoning the property owned by Josh Moore at 815 Mill Street from R3 to R4. Sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. Thank you. Sure. Here's second. Second. It has been moved and seconded. The motion is, is presented. This will be a public hearing. Any comments from the public? Any comments from the board? If not, call the roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? No. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. D, a second reading of an ordinance to abandon the city of Manchester's interest, if any, in an unaccepted right-of-way planted as part of the old LD Nunn subdivision and replanted in Brookmead Home Site subdivision between lots 14 and 15 at the end of Sykes Drive, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. To hear motion. Sure. To hear a second. Second. It has been moved and seconded. The motion is presented. This is up for board discussion. Any discussion from the board? I have a question. We, we've got two right ways we're going to ban. George, you here? Where are you at? One of these has a sewer. Yes, yeah, the one on uh, the Downey building? Yes, off of Summer Street. Okay. So this one does it. Right. Okay. <clears throat> but on the one with the sewer, we've got these in the front. Well, that's what we, we need to make water. sure that okay. we have these in check. Any more questions? <clears throat> Comments? Call roll, please. 
Alderman Grinch? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Massey? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. E, a second reading of an ordinance to abandon the city of Manchester's interest in many in an unaccepted right of way that's unnamed running along the easterly side of Bocquet as depicted on the plat of AF Chamber Subdivision. Sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. <coughs> I'll make a motion um, with the addition um, so long as the easement is provided. I'll second that. Okay, it has been moved and seconded that, that uh, we give up the right of way contingent upon we keep the easement. Any discussion from the board? That doesn't landmark anything back to back, does it? No. Alderman French, Alderman Anderson, Alderman Bellamy, Alderman Hobbs, Vice Mayor Messick, Alderman Parsley. Now, the first reading of an ordinance rezoning property owned by Josh Moore on MacArthur Street containing two and sixty-eight hundredths acres from C3 to R4, sponsored by Vice Mayor Messick. It has been moved and seconded. The motion is as presented in discussion from the board. I have a problem with rezoning commercial main, along the main thoroughfare to residential. The, the, and I understand that the, the planning commission, because of where the sewer runs in that track of land. There's not enough room to establish much of anything commercial on that track of land because the sewer limits where you can build. Any more discussion from the board? <coughs> if not, call the roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? No. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? No. Mayor? Um, yes. So we pass that. Okay, open this. Public building. Yeah, it's a public hearing on Ordinance 1661. Uh, Title 14, Chapter 6 of Manchester Municipal Code relative to zoning districts, as I believe it was brought up at the last meeting, there could be, have been a potential problem with a violation of the Sunshine Law. So I believe this was put back here so that we could have a public hearing on the ordinance. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's right. So, that's what it is, a public hearing on that ordinance. It's an ordinance to amend sections of Title 14, Chapter 6 of Manchester Municipal Code relative to zoning districts. This is a public hearing. Any comments from the public? <clears throat> Any comments from the board? <clears throat> if not, if you put, put wide and not, Five foot setback on the proposal. We got there yet? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen foot punches, putting a lot of stuff off close together. Any more comments? Do we vote on this? Do we not pass this once? Do we have to vote on it again? Yes. So we have to vote on this again. Yes. To cure a potential defect in the sunshine law. We have to vote it on the community. That was what was discussed at the board meeting previously. But we did pass it, right? It's been passed once. Yeah. That's just that right The meetings were not advertised. Even though Chris was there, but anyway. Do we know what we're voting on? Does everybody know what we're voting on? We're going to have a motion. Yeah, for the, so I'll make a motion. Okay, that we approve this again. 
Do I hear a second on this one? The motion to approve second. ordinance 1661. Second. Okay. It's yeah. been. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's been moved and seconded. Any comments from the from the <coughs> board? Yes, I have a question. No, I if we approve this, we go to the proposed distances. Is that correct? I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. If we approve this, then it is changed to the proposed distances. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I just want to comment real quick on that. I agree that those distances those distances could be close but it, it all depends on the application and where it's going to be right and so this gives us this this proposal gives us far more tools than the toolkit as far as actually making thoughtful planning development uh, moving forward so I, I agree um, five feet tons pretty close, but again, depending on where that is applied, um, it can be used appropriately. And, and this is just cool. This isn't like everything is going to automatically go to that. I mean, it's, it's just one tool of many that we have. It's a tool, but it's up to the board to decide if we want to rezone it. Sure. To yeah. fill that potential. Any more comments? Any more comments? If not, call roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? No. Alderman Bellamy? No. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? No. Alderman Parsley? No. Mayor Howard? Okay, I, I, uh, I'm going to vote yes. And I'm going to say it is up to this board whether we want to go with these, these this rezone zoning. Just because we, it's there, if there's been changes, and I do know that um, that that there was a lot of hard work put in this, and I do know that some of these smaller lots, that a lot of lot of uh, the changes in the zoning, a lot of people don't like to mow their yards, backyards. So, you know, I just. Say yes. Okay. And the next matter on the old business was about resolution 41 2022 plan of services for Coral Property. As I recall, that was passed at the meeting and then the rezoning and the annexation was not. I think there's both. Uh, so, what I wanted to explain to the board is when you pass a plan of services, but you don't pass the, the subsequent annexation and or rezoning, it makes the passage of that resolution null and void. In other words, it has no use. So even though it may have showed up on the minutes as a approval, because the, the subsequent uh, uh, resolution and ordinance was not passed, then it has no, uh, no, no benefit to anyone. So it goes away. Any more old business that is not that we, we haven't listed? If not, we're moving on to new business. And uh, on the table tonight is the finance director position. Um, the Lisa Myers is put on the table at 115000 with uh, the two ads that we want. <coughs> I'll, I'll, I just make a motion that uh, we hire Ms. Myers as our finance director of the board and that we uh, provide uh, a contractual resolution on the terms of the agreement as stated, as presented. So you're saying that we go along as with presented. the package as presented? As presented. Okay. Do I hear a second on that? Second. Okay. It has been moved and seconded that we put the spires on the table tonight with, with her, what it was presented and, and 
I think we'll have to have a resolution vote next. Or at least the next one. We'll have to have one before we agree on those terms. So, are, are we doing that? I thought we were doing that tonight. You, you yeah. can vote on it tonight, and then I can draft a resolution for her yeah. signature. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't have to wait until the next week. But we'll have to vote separate of this vote. This is the point of vote, and then a resolution on those terms would have to or can you get included in the employment vote? Could we end the employment vote agree with what Ryan says? Go ahead and approve her to be hired and subject to her signing I, I don't order that she would not, what we talked about the sick time. Yeah, I, your I, resolution I, would say that yeah. she's hired subject to that provision. So on my, yeah. on my motion, if my second will follow, I, I will amend that to adopt the order of Elvis said subject to her signing agreement on that as stated though. But it's subject to that agreement and sign. And particularly with the sick time and statement, having that solved. Do I hear okay. a second on the vote, though? I'll second. Yeah. We have a, a motion and a second that uh, we, we will present it, and, and Craig, you will write it up for her to sign as, as, as we discuss it. I'll write up a resolution for the presiding officer of the board of Mayor Baldwin to sign that they're hiring her subject to the terms as presented in the motion, which would include her not accepting any payout from a sick leave approval at her retirement or end of her or termination of her employment. So that's said and done tonight. You'll write it up and we sign off. <laughs> any more discussion? If not, call roll, please. Arderman French? Aye. Arderman Anderson? Aye. Arderman Bellamy? Aye. Arderman Hobbs? Aye. Boss Mayor Messick? Aye. Arvin Parsley. Uh, okay. Next, we're um, voting on the Manchester Water and Sewer Director's position. Uh, we discussed it earlier. I make a motion that we hire two. Second. At eight five thousand. Eight three. 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 It's been moved and seconded. Any, any more discussion? <coughs> if not, call the roll, please. Arderman French? Aye. Arderman Anderson? Aye. Arderman Bellamy? Aye. Arderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messi? Aye. Arderman Parsley? Aye. <coughs> Next, uh, we have a job description for a part-time part sports official that uh, we're going to vote on. <coughs> John, is in your package. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. Um, any discussion from the board? If not, call the roll, please. Arderman French? Aye. Arderman Anderson? Aye. Arderman Bellamy? Aye. Arderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messi? Aye. Arderman Parsley? Aye. Next is up. Uh, Job description for part part time child care attendant at the rec center. Uh, do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. The, the uh, motion is is presented. <coughs> Any discussion? If not, call the roll, please. Alderman French. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Bellamy. Aye. Alderman Hobbs. Aye. Vice Mayor Messi. Aye. Alderman Parsley. Aye. The next, um, Craig, would you step into that one? The River Keepers. Um, I'd just like to make a motion that we settle with the agreed upon terms, or the presented terms that were presented in the objective session. Okay. So, good. Good. <coughs> good. Does everybody know what we're voting on? Just sufficient. Thank you. Just sufficient. Yeah. 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 Voting to approve what we discussed in the executive session. Call the roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. Okay. 
Next is Manchester Industrial Park proposal, and I'll let you, Craig, tell that, and we'll stay with the time. So, so for the past several weeks, maybe even months, we've been in discussions with a with a major national nationally known uh, enterprise. And they have a representative here today, Mr. James Murphy uh, III, uh, or as we call my nephew, Tripp. I don't know if he's known by that or not, but anyway, uh, he's here representing CarMax, and Mr. Crook and I have been in discussions with him and another attorney and other officials uh, for, for uh, the possible purchase and development of a site at Man Manchester, in in the <clears throat> excuse me, Manchester Industrial Park. Uh, for the purchase of so many acres for, for $15,000, which I think is what we've priced most, if not all, the industrial park. Uh, the information was put in your packet for review before today. Uh, that, that enterprise is CarMax, and I will let uh, Mr. Crook and, and Mr. Murphy, if y'all have additional information you want to put out there about what, what this place would be and what kind of business it would be. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, very briefly, uh, this project is an inventory management center uh, considering 27.86 acres. Uh, we're looking at uh, a variety of job types associated with this. It would lead up to about 200 to 235 positions, mostly ranging between forty dollars and $55,000 per job. Uh, looking at about uh, $30 million in capital investment. Uh, for this project. Uh, it's a good site, good project, uh, be located between Great Lakes Cheese and Aspen Technologies. Uh, as with previous projects, the um, <coughs> approval of uh, the document in the packet does not mean this is a done deal. It means the work begins for us and to make sure that we go through all the final details and set the terms of the agreement that everybody would be comfortable with. Uh, so a lot of work left to do, but uh, we look forward to going through this process. Uh, should the board approve it. Uh, with that being, glad to answer any questions. I'll turn it over uh, to my friend, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> Mr. Crook, correct. This is really just the beginning of the first phase, Part B. It's just a purchase and sale agreement, just as if you were purchasing a home. You enter into a purchase and sale agreement, which lays out the parameters of the future things that need to get done. Each side has certain things that they have to do. Certain things have to get approved. Those are in that agreement, and I know it's a long agreement, and we've spent some time negotiating the terms of that purchase and sale. Uh, we believe that it's a good, good thing for the community, but obviously it's your decision. But, and Mr. Murphy, if anybody has any questions, I'm sure they do. Chair Murphy, on behalf of CarMax, uh, yes, we agree with uh, Craig Jenkins' comment. This is a good agreement with both sides. We look forward to working with you both. I'm here if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them. I probably won't know all the answers, but I know you. So, did I hear you say you're going to employ 230 or 40? In, in that range, yeah. This is an inventory management center where they bring in vehicles and recondition them for sale. Uh, either by car racks or other car dealers and so they do a reconditioning process here so it's pretty intensive work at this center it's uh, there's, there's a pretty good number of employees they're maintaining it's got a small paint uh, uh, facility for painting small body parts they don't paint the whole vehicle but they'll touch up paint they do you know repair so replace you know broken broken parts things like that so everybody who's not familiar with CarMax, uh, you know, the sale of vehicles has moved heavily to the online market and the pick it up or get it shipped to your house market. So CarMax is probably the largest that I know of that does that kind of thing. And uh, so this would be, I'm assuming, in a regional place where those cars that are bought or traded in for a purchase are brought and they're, they're uh, shined up and made to look good for sale. Online. That's right. Or if they're decided, I mean, they also decide some of the cars are not suitable to be sold by CarMax, and so they'll then sell those to other licensed dealers that can then put them on their lots and sell them. So they go through and sort out the ones they want to put through their inventory, take out the ones they don't want to put through their inventory, and they'll sell those in wholesale auctions. Typically done online, the, the people, the dealers can come on site, but most of that now is being done online as well, so that 
the vast majority of the sales can be done online. So, Mr. Mr. Rubio, so welcome. Thank you. And, and uh, what, what one would you take? That I know that car sales are really big, especially online. That so what do you think this? What are you proposing moving to a site? Well, we've got to do the, our first round of, uh, as I think Mr. Johnson said, we've got to first do due diligence. So we, we've really not done any investigation to make sure the site really works from a topography, geotechnical, all that stuff. All that has to be done. Uh, I think we've got a 90-day due diligence period, and then we've got a 150-day permitting period to make sure we get all the permits in line. So sometime right after that, we would close, and then shortly thereafter start construction. I'll farm that land. It's good land. <laughs> Again, we, we don't anticipate any problems, but you never know until you actually go out there and, and start uh, doing due diligence. But, uh, you know, everything we've seen so far is positive. Uh, but again, this will give us a proven instrument to allow give us the opportunity to start really in depth due diligence. I actually, telling Stephen, I've got a call scheduled on Thursday to start that process right away. So they're they're anxious to get started. Do, do you have any numbers on the percentage of employment that may be temporary employment or that would be direct hire? I don't, but I think I, I, I think most of them are direct hire, but I'm not I don't have it right now. Like everything I can find online was that most everything was direct hire. So right. I don't think they do not have that. Typically in this industry, they, they might use temporaries to kind of train their people and to bring them in for a direct hire, you know, so they'll bring them in short term on the temporary and then hire them permanently after they make sure that you know, they're, they're trained up. That's been a pattern I've seen, and I'm not sure whether they'll do that here or just hire them all directly. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. So uh, we just have a, do we need to make a motion? Yes, make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the amount or the, yes. the agreement. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. The motion is as presented that we will sell this land at $1,500 $1, an acre. $1,500 $1, an acre. Move faster. <laughs> Friday. 
and she has proposed that um, that Anderson Services LLC be uh, brought brought on board as a stand-in, and she's she's asking for six up to it be put on the table it's for 60 days at 125 dollars an hour working five to 15 hours a week um <clears throat> even when uh when when lisa comes in uh bridget has offered her services and she will be doing um uh, doing the cash ups, cash ups, general ledger, general ledger, and bank reconciliation. And I just um, I make I make motion to approve the proposal. Okay. 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 It's been moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. <coughs> Any comments? I just want to say thank you, Bridget. Uh, you you have no clue now. I just really appreciate you doing this and. Nobody can fill your shoes, but but Lisa, that you will have her her assistance, and I know that in the transition. And if, but thank you, Bridget. Okay, it's been moved and second. Any more discussion? If not, call the roll, please. Alderman French. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Bellamy. Aye. Alderman Hobbs. Aye. Vice Mayor Messick. Aye. Alderman Parsley. Aye. Okay. Next items from the board. Brian, anything to say? Um, yeah, I just I want to say to Bridget, you've been incredible to work with. We've both been here a long time, and I, I am particularly. There's things that you know everybody sees what happens here, but you constantly work with me on analyzing sales tax data, lodging taxes. You walked us through an important uh, lodging tax audit that was critical for the city and really kind of set the rules. And um, I think it needs to be stated, you know, you cleaned up a mess. Too. Um, so you, you did, you've done a great work, and I can see you leave, but um, I'm glad that you get to go and do what you want to do. I would just say thank you to Director Anderson for her service to the city. On behalf of all the citizens, we appreciate you. Well, I've been here since Bridget's day one, and she's been good to work with. The only fault I ever had with Bridget is she's too blooming conservative. <laughs> <laughs> But she does a, has done an excellent job, and we're really going to miss you, Bridget. And also, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, water department guys that have stepped up and and yeah. kept things afloat while we've been uh, without leadership for a day or two or forever long it was. But. Uh, I think the water department needs a pat on the back for stepping up and doing what needed to be done and doing it without much guidance, stepping up and guiding ourselves. Um, yeah, and I'd like to also thank Bridget. I mean, I haven't got to work with you. Um, I kind of hate that, but I understand. But as a citizen, you know, thank you for everything you've done for Manchester. Um, you know, we hired uh, some new folks tonight and look forward to uh, start working with them as well. Well, you know I'm going to miss Bridget. I think I might be the reason she's quitting sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But I'm going to miss you. You'll never fill her shoes. I mean, you may be the best one to come along, but you'll never fill her shoes. But I want to welcome you and, and, and Phil, too. And I also want to kind of say how proud I am of the water department. I worked with them pretty close the last couple, two or three weeks. And I've never seen a department jail and come together and work to do what's right. 
and, and not fuss and not, you know, have no disagreement amongst them. And they just pitched in and done what needed to be done. And they need to be committed for that. Bridget, we're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. You know, and I know, I'm glad to know that you're going to be working with Ms. Myers and so forth. And, and I know Ms. Myers will do a good job of doing all that. You know, but you will be missed, Bridget, since you're going to miss you. Absolutely. We'll miss you, Bridget. Hey, you will be a stranger. Mm -hmm. And I just, uh, I'd like to uh, thank <coughs> Scott and Mike Anderson for, for putting in the, the hours that of interviewing and Mark, you too. That, um, and, and I'd just like to say thank you to the Water Department, the Water and Sewer Department. I, I went over there and said, I'll, I'll leave the crawl into a manhole. And I thought, I think they were going to take me up on it. The only thing they asked were, were some food warmers. <laughs> But anyway, just appreciate appreciate every department. I appreciate all of our fair directors, and I I just uh, I think we're gonna. It's change is always rough, but change hey, that's what makes butterflies, right? But um, anyway, thank you guys for coming tonight. I just uh, appreciate. Do I hear a motion before I start? Can we can we do add one more thing to you? Tonight we brought up when we discussed about the sound system. Okay. Can we put that on the tonight? Mm -hmm. Should we do that tonight? Do we look at the bids? There's no bids. Okay. 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 You'll put that on the table? Yes. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the bid. Uh, uh, I'll be able to sign the placement for both. And this is from SOS Computers Technology Express in Kingston, Tennessee, for the amount of 20,200 hammers. Can you? Got me confused on one. $120,000, $156,000. It's moved and seconded. The motion is presented to accept this $20,000 bid. I won't have to lean in. <laughs> um, lean in to the microphone. It's going to be keeping up really well. It is as presented in discussion, comments from the board. I'd just like to say one thing. Of course, I want to say something about that. I'm just disappointed that we didn't have any local people there. I really wish we would have had somebody within the city limits of Manchester or at least in Coffee County to a bid on it. And I hope everything went smooth, the notifications and all, and uh, I'm just really disappointed. But you didn't like spend money. put it out there. Regent, can you explain the bid process? I don't have any trouble with this. The finance department puts up the bids. Everybody has a chance. moved and seconded. The motion is that presented. It's not. Any more discussion? Call roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. Uh, so while we're committed to partying a little bit longer, I got to call to make a motion. Um, I want to make a motion that the board send a request to our finance committee. Um, the city of Tallahoma just had a benefits review. They just voted to initiate a contract on a benefits review. That includes pay scales. Uh, they're having not only their directors analyzed, but also um, general staff. Um, so, and that company will come back with a report, tell them where they stand. Are, are we middle of the road? Are we high? Are we low? Et cetera. I'd like for us to send a, a request to the finance committee to uh, for our next meeting or for our January meeting to have 
be in place on that so we can have the company come in and do that analysis here as well. You make that formal motion. And I, and I say send it back to the finance committee because I think that's where the review process needs to take place. So I, I would make a motion that we it, we send out bids for a benefits review, but that the results and the conversation comes back to the finance committee. Does your second on motion? Second. 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 Second.
budget finance can review those things, make sure we can afford them, and then make recommendations to the board as to what we think those things should be. Is that? That's good, but the first step is who's going to put that out? It's always good, or are you slave? I mean, and that's all I want to know. Who's going to? We, we can call and tell them tomorrow and just get a copy of their RFP and put it out. We, 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 when we, we leave it up to we, and it kind of gets passed <laughs> off to everybody, and we don't end up doing anything. So, I mean, can we not be a little more specific and say that the finance department or the finance director could, could can make that call and get those bids. Don't we have something in place that tells us how we get bids? I don't know, do we? I mean, that's a, <laughs> we but you have to do it though, right? It does through the finance. <laughs> there should be a safe yeah. guideline. We so, we're so that's all I'm saying is we need to let them do their job and put it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not recommending otherwise. Okay. Okay, so finance puts it out, six it. Yeah. It's always that. good to find out who. We say, wait. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm foreshadowing. I just don't want the full result, results to come back to the board because that creates chaos on the back. It needs to the full results, results instead of the time to first. We have one of those, so we have that advantage. Okay. So you've made the motion that we, that's a, we put out a bid to order From the finance committee. Do we have to sell that part? Just to, uh, I, I, the, this board is putting out an RFP for benefits. <coughs> there you go. Okay. All right. Do I hear a second on that? So we have one already. Okay. Well, it's all good. We seconded it. Wait. Okay. <laughs> so, any more discussion? Call roll, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Parsley? Aye. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 That's it done. <laughs>